I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. Hi, it's Katie with Hill Country Hands. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today's video is going to be how to make a diffuser bomb. I am just going to take you through the quick, easy steps and show you the supplies on how I make a diffuser bomb. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I do motherhood and lifestyle videos weekly. I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Uh, it's free and it helps my channel so much and that way you won't miss any new upcoming videos. Please leave me a comment down below and say hello. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also go follow me over on Instagram. I'm pretty active on stories over there. Okay, so some of the reasons that you would want to make a diffuser bomb would be that you really like a certain blend and you don't want to have to pull out those oils every single time that you use them. That way you can just put them in here and then this has a dropper um, and I can just pull up some drops and drop it right in and it's already mixed. I don't have to get all my different oils out. I'm going to be making a diffuser bomb that we use for bedtime because I pretty much am a creature of habit and I love this blend that we use to diffuse. We start at 30 minutes before bedtime and then we diffuse it every night in our bedroom. I use the same diffuser blend for my daughter who is three. I just do less drops in her room. So I got these bottles off of Amazon. I will have that linked down below. And then I also got some pretty dried flowers off of Amazon. I will link those down below as well. So I like the blend of cedar wood and lavender for our bedtime blend. And I will say when I first got the cedar wood, I got the cedar wood because I heard that it was good for sleep. And I wasn't a huge fan of the smell at all at first, especially by itself, but blended with lavender, it smells so good. And I've gotten to where I love cedar wood. So I am just going to go ahead and pour these. These are both pretty much a full bottle of each one. I usually do equal parts lavender to cedar wood. So I'm just gonna pour these two into the little dropper bottle that I got. super easy it looks so pretty it's like a pretty orange color with the cedar wood and then I ended up adding quite a bit of the lavender and some of the jasmine as well 
and it just turned out really pretty. I'm happy with it. And it's just gonna be so much more convenient for me to just grab this at night and put a few drops in and not have to be searching for my different bottles every night. And it's just really pretty and fun. So you could do this with any blends that you enjoy, that you have found are your favorites, that you are going to often. That way it just saves you some time and then you end up with a really pretty little diffuser bomb. If you have any questions, please let me know. You always want to make sure that you're using therapeutic grade essential oils. Not all oils are the same. Not all brands are the same. And you want to make sure that you're using something that is safe for your family and also something that is going to be beneficial in supporting your body. So do some research. If you have any questions, I'd love to answer them but I just wanna make sure you're using oils that are safe and beneficial for you. I am a brand partner for Young Living, so if you need help getting started with oils or have any questions at all, I would love to help you. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye, see you in the next video.